It's a beautiful world out there Just don't pass on the dare If you have the will and a moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there It's a beautiful world out there Hey! Here and welcome back to a brand new Sims for Speed Beyond the channel. Welcome, welcome, my friends. Hope you're all doing amazing. And today, today, we're gonna build a music shop or music instruments shop, call it whatever you like, uh, in the shape of a guitar. Yeah, yeah, you didn't see that coming, did you? <laughs> Anyway, you actually really loved all my recent builds uh, regarding um, shops and um, like bars and restaurants that I made in the shape of food and stuff like that. So I thought maybe to try and recreate something that I already made in the past. But people, I made this three years ago. Three years ago, I made um, I made in a, like a music shop. Not in the shape of an instrument, but uh, I don't know, lately with all the curving walls and stuff like that, I really got the inspiration to create something that is in the shape of a guitar or something like that. So that's what I had in mind. And as you can see, it, it didn't take much, at least in the video, because of this, this is a speed build. <laughs> so you can already you can see the shape of the guitar taking place. And I did try to make this look kind of realistic. Okay, I know this is not really realistic, but uh, you know what I mean. I tried to keep it neat outside and inside it's gonna look actually like a music instrument shop and uh, you're gonna have some uh, guitars uh, um, like hanging from the walls and there are gonna be some uh, decorative walls with guitars and, and you basically will be able to take your sim and I don't know, buy him <laughs> a present, take him to pick the guitar he wants, and and you can make a day out of it, you know? And, and for an example, if you have a teenager and you want to spoil him with a brand new cool guitar, you can just bring him over here, because this is a fully functional uh, um, shop, and bring him over here, let him jam around with the, the, the guitars, and at the end, pick one, and it's gonna feel like you actually going to buy him that guitar and you're not just gonna go to the build by section and, and pick a guitar for him, you know what I mean? So that was the idea over here, this is a fully functional uh, shop, you can run it as your own if you want, but bear in mind that this is quite an expensive shop to own. Well, the main reason is because of there are so many guitars and, and the, the cheapest one I think is 700 simoleons when the most expensive one is 2400 I think or even more I don't remember if the if the latest electronic guitar that we we got with the werewolf pack is even expense more expensive than the the classic one that is the most expensive which is the 2400 uh, simoleons uh, I'm not quite sure about it, but because there are so many guitars over here, the price of this lot, in order to be the owner, I think it's over 200,000 simoleons. <laughs> so, so yeah, it's not really gonna be practical to be the owner of it, but definitely it's gonna give you something uh, special to do when you want to go and buy a new instrument. Now, when I build this, and right now you can see me creating the... the um, how do you call that? I forgot the name of it. Like the neck of the guitar? Okay, let's call it the neck of the guitar. Um, so one of the things that you uh, need to, uh, to need to know about this build is the fact that uh, when I build this, I in my mind I wanted to be more of a guitar store. I wanted to have a lot of guitars lying around, like spreading all over, stuff like that. And then at some point I decided maybe to add some areas where you can buy maybe a violin and uh, buy a one piano. <laughs> You're gonna have only one piano over there. It's gonna be a bit more of a unique uh, corner, let's call it. Um, and I think I placed the piano, the um, winged piano, right? It's called a winged piano, uh, the one with the well, the open wing, um, from the uh, My Wedding Stories pack, which is the beautiful, like the most beautiful piano we have right now in the game. But, uh, so I placed 
that over there also. So if you want to save some bucks, if you want to buy this in a legit way and to be the owner, you just sell that. <laughs> I think you're gonna save like few thousands of simoleons by doing that, but not much. Anyway, so um, when I first built it, I wanted it to be more of a guitar store, but then I decided to add a bit more of the instruments. Uh, so I added some of the electronic guitars, which is, well, it, it, that was the basic idea to have a guitar shop, right? So it's not really an extra added, adding to the, to the shop, but I added the piano and I added some more uh, violins in, uh, inside. So, at the end, it's more like a general, let's call it a general um, music instrument shop, but uh, I had in mind it's for it to be more of a strings, um, strings uh, music instrument shop, like guitars, and uh, yeah. So do let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. Now, I want, of course I want to give you some numbers, so we are in Willow Creek, I wanted to be in the one of the most iconic maps that we have in the game. I don't think that we have in the game, um, in, that, uh, in that map, we don't have anything that is some sort of a store. I think because, well, I, I don't think, I know, it's because we, well, the, the mechanism of stores and shops came with uh, Get to Work, so yeah, we didn't have it back then, so I decided why not to create it in this kind of a boring, I, I'm gonna say it, it's kind of boring map um, if you if you are looking at, like, at the map today when we have so many other maps right now in the game. So I said let's go back and, and add that store into Willow Creek. 40 by 30, this is the size of the, of the, of the lot and uh, I think you can see where it is actually uh, if you know that map and I believe you know it. Uh, this is the place where the, um, the, the um, steamboat is coming at the back of that, of that build. Y you might see it during a day of work here. <laughs> and, uh, and, and yeah, so I tried to keep it neat around it and I wanted it to look kind of like a real store if it was built like this in real life. And don't, don't, don't think that this is not something that you can do in real life. It can be something like that. Uh, like, someone can build something like that. It's not that uh, um, complicated to, to, to create. Uh, maybe the rounded walls and the, the rounded shapes are not something that the constructions will be happy with, <laughs> but it's possible. Anyway, so right now we're creating the parking spots and I use some of the those uh, shades from uh, from the brand new uh, um, high school pack to to uh, to give some uh, uh, well shade for the cars that are gonna park over there. So I try to keep it neat at the exterior and inside it's gonna be a bit more designed. And uh, yeah, so again, do let me know what you think about this build. And if you want me to create more like a music center. Uh, something bigger with much more instruments to go over and and pick from and to buy uh, something um, like you know to have more variety of instruments like uh, music instruments inside the center and maybe even have like some sort of a stage to perform and to jam together and stuff like that do let me know maybe I will make something like that in the future now one of the things that I really want to ask you is what do you think is the music instrument that we are most missing from the game. You know what I think? I think that music or music instruments in the game is kind of lacking the love it needs to get or the love it deserves. For an example, I think that many of you are gonna agree with me that we are missing uh, drums. I think it's basically the bass, literally <laughs> the bass, of any group uh, that wanna jam together, right? You want that bass from the drums. So yeah, th that's basically what I, I think I'm missing the most. Although I will be happy if they will add like a full game pack, you know, with much love to the music instruments um, or the whole thing, maybe to even create the mechanism to, to form a band. Think about it, that, that can be so cool. Like you, you do some additions and um, of course they, they supposed to or they should add more instruments so we, we, ha we will have more variety like drums, maybe sax, and, uh, and I'm talking about saxophone, all right? Don't, don't get any dirty mind. <laughs> the sax, um, maybe a trombone, um, 
some other things that I don't have right now in my mind, but you know what I mean. They need to add more of those instruments to the game and maybe create some sort of a game pack around it can be really, really cool. Think of like uh, even, even a, a game pack that allows to make big, um, big shows. You know, like concerts, stuff like that. That can be so cool. I really wish that they, that they, well, at some point, will bring much more love to uh, to the music instruments in the game. Let me know what do you think uh, in the comment section about this idea. Maybe we should push them to do that. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So what is? That's another question. What is the most missing instrument, music instruments, yet that you think they should add to the game? Uh, leave a comment. I'm really curious to know what do you what do you think. And if talking about instruments, do you play something? Because I'm playing right now a guitar, and to be honest, I played the guitar since I was 13, I think, 13, 14, something like that. And back then, I played it for around four years. I even played the electronic one, and I was I was okay, even good. Um, but then I had to do some sort of stop and I kind of left it over there and recently, uh, I think like one month ago, I decided I want to <laughs> start playing again the guitar, so I picked up my old guitar, which is, uh, I had to, to change the strings because, you know, like 10 years, something like that, <laughs> and uh, they were a big mess and um, like, lucky for me, I had fresh ones close in, in, in the in, in the package, the original original package. And I remembered all the things that I've been taught when I when I played the, the, the guitar when I was a, a young young kid or or teenager. And I uh, replaced the, the strings and now I'm playing it again and I still got it. I still got it. <laughs> I do need to practice more but but still I still got it. So do you play something? Let me know that also that that's I wanna see if if you are like most of the comments or most of the of the um, uh, of the options that I gave you in the last survey, I asked you if your sim is playing something, and most of you, I think 46% of you, said that uh, your sim is playing the guitar, and um, about 30 pe people, not part of people, 30% <laughs> said that they are playing uh, the piano. So I do wonder if if it's gonna be just like that in real life. <laughs> or that you don't really play anything and if you're not playing anything or you do play but you still also want to play something else do let me know i always wanted to learn how to play on the sax it's one of the coolest um most sexiest i don't know i i don't know if i can say that but it, it just sounds so smooth and good and um i can hear to i can hear like good saxophone a uh, uh, player for hours. It's just so good. I always wanted to, to learn that. I know that you need big lungs and I, I kind of have them, but uh, but I know my neighbors probably won't be happy with it. <laughs> they probably won't gonna like it. Um, so yeah, do let me know what sort of uh, instrument do you want to try to play or you play. Anyway, one last thing that I want to cover is that you just saw me placing some mannequins on the windows over there and they will be uh, uh, dressed up like um, some people. I don't want to, to to pick the name. Maybe you like pick, say the name. Maybe you will um, recognize them. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to let you know that those mannequins are not going to cause your game to crash. And last time I said that there are two types of mannequins and right now on the screen I'm going to show you them. Um, one of them will not cause the game to crash when you're gonna try to download the build from the gallery. The other one will cause it. And many of you actually reached uh, reach out to me and asked me if I can show you which one will make the game crash and which one will not. Now this is based on my tests and I know that I upload to the gallery some of my builds with those who, well, the way I see it and the way I know it, they will not make the game crash. So those are the mannequins that are least, least, they are less detailed in the face, okay? You don't have the hair, you cannot see the, the, um, the eyes and, um, and the lips, you cannot see those. They actually look like more mannequins. And the other one that are a bit more detailed, they will cause the game to crash. They are the one I used when I uploaded the mole. 
uh, that I know that today make a lot of people crash the game when they're trying to download it from the gallery. I do apologize for that, but I cannot really upload it uh, with the uh, other mannequins because I cannot download it to, uh, to my game and I don't think I have it the way that I can, like... Uh, place it and then replace it anyway. So right now uh, Not right now, but you could see the the mannequins that cannot and can uh, uh, break your game Just put it in your mind next time when you're trying to create some sort of a closing store or or, or something like that uh, In your game. Okay, so yeah, so look at that We are getting closer to the end of this video and I really do hope that you enjoyed it It will mean the most to me if you hit the like button uh, if you're new here and it's your first time here, uh, consider subscribing to the channel because this is what I do. I build the things The Sims never gave you <laughs> and I build, you know, not the general stuff. Uh, I'm trying to innovate every time, I'm trying to create something new every time. So I'll highly appreciate that if you subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit the bell notification so you won't miss any of my builds. And if you want to download this build, it's at the gallery for you. Enjoy the tour and until next time, keep dusting party for me. Architect is signing off. If there is something we need it's a leap of faith A step away from the comfort zone And be a little brave So take a look around you How far can you see? How far do you think you can run? Standing on your knees It's a beautiful world out there Just don't pass on the dare If you have the will and the motive Just don't pass on the day.